Welcome to a special episode of the Central Pennsylvania Music Podcast, featuring the Central Pennsylvania Music Hall of Fame Youth Music Showcase, including the top 18 and under acts. Hello and welcome to another Central Pennsylvania Music Podcast exclusive at the Youth Music Showcase. It's incredible. We're getting to sit down with all of these young artists and see what they've done. We've been here last year, and a lot of them are returning, and I'm excited to see what they've learned and what they're bringing to the table this, this new year. Yes, absolutely. So without any further ado, please stay tuned and check this out. And we're here with Professor Estes at Millersville University in beautiful Millersville, Pennsylvania. How are you today, sir? Doing great. Dude, it's super awesome to be able to sit down and talk with someone. So you, you in, you're involved with the direction of this program, correct? The music program here. Yeah, it's the music industry program. Right. Music industry program. Okay, let's get specific then. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I teach the music business courses. Um, I also teach songwriting. Okay. Um, we have 20... 26 classes in music technology and music business. Um, students get the opportunity to take uh, classes in live audio, music production, music business, uh, and then concentrate on what they're most interested in. That's wow. awesome. That's amazing. So how did you get into this line of work? You know, in, in the line. <laughs> uh, you know, it's funny. I kind of fell into it. Yeah. Um, yeah. But this, and if, if there's someone else who's trying to enter the academy – watching this they're gonna start throwing stuff at the screen or the podcast um <laughs> no i was a i i had uh you need an advanced degree uh i went to law school which is a juris doctor so i have an advanced degree and after law school i decided um i had, had a career as an artist i decided i wanted to go into artist management mm -hmm. uh started a company in denver colorado and uh i was just asked i i was asked to submit an application for a teaching position and I got it and I uh, thought it sounded interesting so I was an artist manager and a full-time professor um, that's kind of how I got into this and just fell in love with it oh my goodness that's yeah. awesome wow so what's your favorite part of being in um, the industry that you're in now you know teaching musicians and everything what, what, what would you say is the most rewarding to you you know uh, it's really the careers that you see that we see our students get um, there's I have two students that graduated last year both of them are working for um, it really in the publishing, the music publishing industry, which is what they set out to do. Mm -hmm. And it's really cool seeing a student come in, start to learn about the industry and say, you know, I'm really interested in this. And then they they make their way there. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. That's, that's really cool. And so you get to see it from the very beginning, working their way all the way up, I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. And then they come back and they have great stories. We have a lot of students out on tour right now with major touring artists. We've had people with Ariana Grande. Wow. You know, Greta Von Fleet. Um, wow. Uh, the Eagles. I mean, oh, love the Eagles. Yeah, they're part of the road crew. And, uh, you know, it's really neat seeing them, you know, <laughs> come in as freshmen with wide eyes and then being able to enter, you know, enter the workforce, being able to do things like that. That's really cool. Yeah. What is one piece of advice that you would give to anybody that would be attending your classes in the future or would like to pursue a career in music, whether it be performing or production? Take every opportunity you can. That's great. It's the, at the beginning, you can't afford to say no. Um, even as, as a musician, like as an artist, when I was an artist, you know, one of the weirdest things that ever happened to me, we were uh, out on tour. We played a show in Albuquerque, New Mexico during a snowstorm. There were like 10 people there. And um, one of the guys there, he bought our CDs, said how much he liked us. And then a year later, we get a phone call from Journey. Uh, Journey's manager saying, hey, Journey wants you guys to open up. We were an indie rock band. We sounded wow. nothing like Journey, but the guy who bought the CD was their tour manager and had been playing our CD in their bus. And they said, I'd be cool if these guys opened for us. Oh my goodness. Wow. We played a show in front of 10,000 people. One of the shows was 10,000 people in Wisconsin. So would you follow up some of your advice with Don't Stop Believing? Yeah, that's... <laughs> <laughs> well played. Thank you. <laughs> God, all right, now I'm going to go jump out the window. That was, that was awful. That was, uh, no, but, I, but you know, we could have canceled that show and we didn't. Mm -hmm. um, it, it wasn't paying us. We were getting paid, paid like a ticket price. It wasn't going to be what we expected, and we did it anyway. And, uh, yeah, it paid off. That's incredible. That's awesome. So how did you get involved with the Central Pennsylvania Music Hall of Fame? You know, uh, one of my colleagues, Dr. Barry Addicts, who teaches music production, um, he's actually, he was a nominee for Educator of the Year. Was it last year or the year before? 
Maybe um, both. I, Maybe I, both. It could be both, yeah. Yeah, and, and uh, he's been involved for a long time. So Millersville has been, um, we have uh, sponsored some some of the events, and, and we've been a part of this for uh, at least since, I think, since I've been here. Um, so, you know, this is the kind of thing we really want to support. We are, um, you know, here we build the careers of not just people that go on and work in tech and business, but also um, – we have a lot of students that come out and they're artists and they're a lot of our students end up becoming uh, nominees for awards every year. So that's awesome. It's an organization we really want to support and see thrive. And we love having your guys support. And we love coming down to Millersville, Millersville University. So we truly thank you for everything that you do, helping educate our future generations of <laughs> artists, music producers, music industry. Uh, but Professor Estes, it was a pleasure meeting you. Nice to meet you guys. Thank you so much. Not a problem. Thank you for your time. Thanks. We're here with Addie Grace, a returning artist at the Youth Music Showcase. Addie, thank you so much for coming on today. Thank you guys for having me. I'm so excited. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Good. So, like he said, you are a returning artist. You I did am. this last year. What would you say you've learned from last year up until now? Like, how have you grown as an artist? I've been writing a lot more original songs, which I'll be playing one today. Awesome. Okay. Um, yeah. And I got to watch everybody perform last year. So it definitely gave me some ideas on how to improve my performance. Awesome. And like make eye contact with people. Or <laughs> 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 stare into the soul. <laughs> so for whatever reason, eye contact's like super important. I don't know why, but that's awesome to hear. Thank so you. What could we expect like sound wise from you? You know, I'm not giving away too much. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure out what kind of artist I am. Okay. So I've been in and out of the studio lately at Green Room Studio. Derek. Uh, Derek, yeah. We, we love Derek. Love Derek. Derek's an awesome dude. He's love awesome. Derek. Him and Bob Welsh, if you haven't heard of him, he's such an amazing musician. Okay. He's in the Little Brother Band, and he plays the bass, but we're kind of like co-writing. So he'll write part of a song, I'll write part of it. Um, so we've been in and out of the studio. We have three songs. That's awesome. So That's super exciting. Amazing. Thank you. Wow. I'm so excited to see what you guys have. Thank you. I am one of the judges this year, which I'm yeah. a little nervous about, but I, I plan to be completely <laughs> fair and everything, but I'm very excited to see how you've grown. Thank you. I've always been impressed by everyone that's part of this group uh, and this performance this year. So Aww. thank you so much for coming on. Thank taking you, the guys. Time. I yes, appreciate of course. it. Thank you. We'll see, see you out you there. there. Yep. Thank you. Jinx. Owe me a Coke. Yep. <laughs> and we're here with Carmine Gantz. Dude, returning artist, just like some of the others, I'm excited because I remember seeing you last year, and you have such a unique sound to what you do. I got to know, like, what, what have you learned from the last year up until now? Um, thanks for having me. Um, of course. Uh, I feel I've gotten stronger vocally a lot. I feel like my vocals have grown a good bit, and my stage presence. Awesome. And my songwriting, but... I'm excited. So, I, like I said, yeah. I heard a little bit of rumors of like what the sound could potentially be like that I'm hearing from you. I don't have any details, like specific details, but what I've heard, I'm very excited to see how you're going to execute. So I'm very excited for that. So, what do you uh, have coming up in the future here? Um, I have a song that I produced in Sound Mind Studios in East Stroudsburg that I'm super excited to release. Awesome. I'll be playing it tonight. We're going to be shooting a video for it. It's going to be awesome. I really love the song. It's one of my favorite things I've ever done. So wow, it's going to be cool. That's awesome. That's amazing. Uh, yeah, if you're that proud of it, like that, that's a good thing. That, there's yeah. a reason why you feel that proud about it. So that's awesome. What, what's the uh, what's the music video going to entail? I'm not sure yet, but I want it to be kind of like a dark atmosphere because it's kind of a darker song, like Ghost Vibe, Wednesday Thirteen, well, like ominous. Alice Cooper. Yeah. Like so, All it's right. it's darker. So I'm excited about it, and I want the video to be cool. Dude, that's awesome. It was a pleasure having you on again. I look forward to seeing your performance. And dude, go out there and break a leg, man. Yes, thank you. Of course. of course. Thank you so much for your time. Of course, thank you. We're here with Faith Noel, another returning artist. Faith, it's so great to have you back on. I heard you did a lot last year between the last Youth Music Showcase and now. Tell us a little bit about what you've been up to. Well, thank you so much for having me. Um, I recorded three original songs in Nashville in September. Wow. That was my first time ever going to Nashville. And it was the best experience. I wouldn't want to trade it for anything. Um, I recorded at Blackbird Studios with Brian Clark. Oh, wow. That's that's impressive. Okay. Very well done. Wow. So you've certainly learned a lot in the last year. How do you feel you've grown as a musician? I definitely have learned um, more about myself and stayed true to myself. And I <laughs> like to incorporate my style, kind of like the style of singing I do. So like pop, country, rock, a mm. little bit of R&B and soul. Okay. That's awesome. Yeah. So you've been doing all of this stuff. You've been growing so much. What are your goals from now moving forward into the next year? So I really want to release the original songs that I um, did and recorded in Nashville. It was a great experience and something that I 
love um, from that experience is that each time I listen to the songs, I have that memory of in the studio um, with the band and everything. But I'm going to be releasing those original songs this year. So that's really exciting. That's awesome. Faith, you kill it all the time, just like all of the youth artists here. I'm excited to see what you're going to do today. Go out there, break a leg, and thank you so much for taking the time to come thank on. Thank you so much. Of course. <laughs> thank you. And we're here with Kira Bomboy, another returning artist. Kira, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you for having me. Of course. So, like I said, you are a returning artist. What yeah. would you say you've learned from last year up until now as an artist? How have you grown? I've learned that I've had to work a lot technique-wise on the way that I sing and everything because I need to keep, like, my style, I think, is very, like, I like to keep my style, but I also need to work more on technique, both with piano and vocally. Okay. So I've tried to strengthen those areas and how they sort of fit together. Awesome. I mean, and recognizing where you need to work and where mm -hmm. you need to put more practice, that's pivotal in becoming yeah. a better artist. So like, mm -hmm. the fact that you have that self-awareness, that's awesome. And that obviously shows that you're growing as an artist. You're Thank taking you. the right steps. Yep. Absolutely. Because, I mean, you had a strong performance last year, so mm -hmm. I'm excited to see with all of this dedication and practice, yeah. how it's going to change up to this year. So yeah. that's awesome. Yep. So what would you say are your goals for this coming year? Um, I'd say, number one, trying to work more with artists around me. Like, I'm trying to – I did one show for my school where I worked with, a vi like, my neighbor. She's mm -hmm. a violinist, and it was really cool to work with her. So I just want to sort of try to work with more youth artists and then also work more on my songwriting. Today, actually, I'm doing an original song called, um, called Uninvincible. Okay. So – Oh, I kind of like that. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I like that play on words. I like yeah. it. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, Kira, I'm excited to see what you're going to do. Thank like you. Like I am with all of you guys that are out here. Go up there, break a leg, and I can't wait to hear it. Thank you so much. Of course. Thank you for coming on. Thank you. Of course. Thank you. We are here with Mojo. Thank you so much for taking the time to come with us. You guys are a new performing artist at the Youth Music Showcase. Thank you very much for taking the time to come with us. What are you hoping to gain from this experience here today? I mean, honestly, I just kind of want to have fun. I mean, I, I think it'll be nice to be in front of people who actually know what they're doing and actually be in, like, a competition. This is, like, our first type of competition yeah, that like, we've first. ever done, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. That's, a, a, that's yeah. a really good mentality to have, though, too, just to be doing it for the fun of it. And whatever comes afterwards, also let it be. But, like, the main thing is you, you want to still have fun while you're yeah, performing. Yeah, I'm not too worried old. about it, yeah. That's just perfect. That's a perfect it, yeah. mentality. That's yeah, awesome. So, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. Oh, yeah, we're just here to have fun, have a good time, you know, good vibes, you know. Yeah, and I just like to say it. that we're here to have fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'd also I like, like to say that What are you guys here for? Is it, uh, we're going we're gonna to have crap time. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> 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 just <laughs> flip it on the script. <laughs> hey, man, so, hey, man we, lo yeah. we love having fun. Thank you so much for coming out here to talk to us. Um, what is something that you think you've learned um, in your you know, career right now as a, mus as a musician? Um, well, I started what, like five years ago. So it's, it's kind of been recent, but, uh, getting on, I got stage on stage pretty, pretty quick, uh, within like three months of me playing piano. And I'd say that the biggest thing I learned is that it's entirely different whenever you're playing in front of people, whatever you practice yeah. is, it, it goes out the window. You just got to be able to think on your feet and be able to like observe the people that in front of you, not ignore them, but then also just be able to do your thing and act like they're not even there. Yep. You know, one thing yeah. I um, noticed, especially with playing with Joe and George, is that it doesn't really matter how um, skilled or talented you are at the instrument you're playing itself. What's really important is having a strong relationship with the musicians because you have to have that synergy. Yes. Yeah. That's a very valid point. And also to your testament, man, like knowing how to recognize the energy of the audience while also mm -hmm. doing what you need to perform, that is a critical skill when it comes to live performing is mm -hmm. can you read the audience? Can the audience read you? And is it all reading good? Like that's, yeah. that's a hard yeah. skill to, to master for sure. But for some of the people that that might not know who Mojo is, what could they expect from you sound-wise? Um, well, what we're going to be doing today is Cassie will be kind of doing like a rhythm guitar thing. I'll be doing like some lead stuff on piano and mm. then... I don't know. It's like it's like ska. Yes. Reggae, I, I no, think our rock. music reflects it, our yeah. desire to have a good time and have fun. Yeah, I mean, perfect. Yeah. I, love I hope that. I'm I hope so excited. Yeah, I hope yes. that gets seen when we're on yeah. stage. But yeah, I guess what to expect from us is just, you know... I, I honestly have nothing. I, it's just, you know, it's just going to be expect like... Music. Expect, expect music. Expect music. Expect music. I like it. Foremost, expect yeah. music and expe expect fun. Yes. 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 So it's We're mysterious, here to have fun, but so. it's going to be fun. <laughs> You've got my attention. Yep. Yes. Guys, thank you so much for taking the time to come on the show today. Go out there, have fun, and I can't wait to see you guys perform. All right. Thank, thank, you, thank you, man. Thank you. You're very thank you for thank having you. us on. Of course. And we are here with Kane Silva of Raising Kane. Kane, you're in sixth grade, correct? 
Yes. And you're already out here getting ready to perform for the Youth Music Showcase. How does that make you feel, man? Pretty good. <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. What do you hope to learn from this experience? Uh, honestly, it's probably. It's a good question, yeah. Probably. Just learn from yeah. the experience yeah. of whatever yeah. you learn. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. That, I mean, so your sixth grade, I, I, I got to foot stomp that because, like, that's incredible. What instrument do you play in Raising Cane? Uh, I play guitar. Wow. How, how long have you been playing guitar? Probably now four years. Oh my I goodness! Think. Wow. So you're so you're eleven. So you started when you were seven. Yes, yeah, seven or eight. That's, That's a, crazy. That's how math works. Yeah. I, th- <laughs> hey, numbers, man. They don't lie unless you don't know. Um, what are you? What are your goals as a musician as you grow older? Um, to get better. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a really good one. <laughs> and so you also perform with the very prestigious Uptown Music Collective, correct? Yes. What is that experience like, especially being someone your age? Um, it's honestly not scary, but it's also pretty fun. That, too. That's awesome, man. So what what do you what are your hopes and dreams? What do you want to do with music as you as you go on and as you grow up and go on with your life? I want to try to be a really famous person or guitarist. That's amazing. Hey, that's awesome. You're already on the right track, man. You're already here at the Youth Music Showcase. You're here with your mom and dad. You guys are going to play some music for us. I'm excited to hear what you can do, man. My eyes are going to be on you. I'm one of the judges today, so I'm going to be looking at you. All right. (laughs) All All right, right, man. We'll we'll see you out there then. Okay. Kane, thank you so much for coming on the show today, man. It was a pleasure talking to you. Pleasure Pleasure. to meet you. (laughs) Pleasure. (laughs) We're here with Sony Bora. Thank you so much for taking the time to come over here and speak with us. You're a new artist to the Youth Music Showcase. What are you hoping to learn from this experience? Um, I'm hoping to maybe like pick up a thing or two from like all the fellow like new artists as well because I feel like a lot of my inspiration comes from like community. Mm-hmm. So hopefully awesome. like because I know that a lot of like the artists and like the solos and like all the bands they like you know they're writing their own stuff. Yep. So it's kind of like oh. That's nice. I'll, I'm not, I'll, I'm not like stealing it, but you know, I'll, I'm taking it as inspiration. You're so. learning from it. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah you take so, little tidbits. I mean, yeah. that's what every musician does. Cause yeah. if every musician was just like 100%. Like they say they never got any influence from anyone else. They're a liar. Yeah. hundred percent. Yeah. <laughs> so you're also a spoken word poet. Is that correct? Yes. So I'm assuming your poetry obviously very heavily influences your music and probably vice versa that writing music also heavily influences your poetry is yes. that a correct statement yeah um i actually started writing poetry first okay um because you know like music and playing ukulele and singing was more of like a hobby mm-hmm. okay. so like my poetry was always the forefront of like i guess my image i suppose but sure. um i guess i just started writing music and i was like hey this is kind of similar to the poetry, so maybe I can take a stab at this. So. It, it honestly seems like a natural progression. If you yeah. if, if you can do poetry, usually people try to dabble in music then too, because I mean that's really what music is. It's yeah. it's, it's beautiful poetry. It's, it's all story. Artistry, you know? yeah. it's, it's exactly right. And so, like you said, you play the ukulele, correct? Yes. I'm very excited to see how you play the ukulele because I do love the ukulele, and I know we were talking a little bit off camera, and you're like, it can be it can be a difficult instrument to 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 master, let alone play. Yeah. So. You have an original song that you wrote on the ukulele called Push Me Away. Is that correct? That is. And you can find that on TikTok, correct? Yes, that can be found on TikTok and on Instagram. Awesome. What's your hashtag? What, what's, your, what's your handles there so people um, can find it? You can find all of my music and my poetry on Instagram at Sony with a chance. That's S-O-N-I-I with a chance. And my TikTok is alt dot underscore dot N-B. Awesome. awesome. Sony, thank you so much for taking the time and coming up here and speak with us. I look forward to seeing your performance. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you. And we are here with Julia Denny. Julia, you are a brand new artist to the Youth Music Showcase. First of all, welcome. Thank you. Of course. What can we expect from you here? What, 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 what can we look for sound-wise? Well, I'll be singing an original pop song um, that I wrote about a year ago called Alter Ego. Okay. So. That's awesome. What do you expect to learn from this experience? Um, I want to be better at like stage presence and I want to meet new people. And Meeting yeah. people is very important yes. in the music <laughs> yes, industry. Absolutely. Wow. So how do you think that or what, what do you expect for your uh, 
career in the future? What is something that you'd really like to achieve? I want to release an album. I've been working on it for like a year now. Okay. Um, and getting close to finishing it. So that's awesome. Yeah. Do you have any idea like who you want to record with, where you want to go record? So my uncle is an independent artist, so he helps me produce. I've also been learning to produce on my own, which is really cool. So wow. That's yeah. That's awesome. I'm sure that helps the, the music career as yes, well. Yeah. Oh my God. You're going to cut down costs exponentially. <laughs> Ex exactly. Yes. <laughs> and you get to own your own music then. Yeah. So that's crucial as well. Yes. Yeah. So, Julia, I'm very excited to see what you got going on here. Um, the song is Alter Ego. Where can they yes. find Alter Ego to listen to it? Um, on any streaming platform, Spotify, iTunes, all that. And you can also find um, me on Instagram and TikTok um, under Julia Denny Music. Awesome. So, yeah. Awesome. Julia, I'm very excited to see what you do today. Thank you so much for taking the time and coming on to talk to us. Mm -hmm. Until we see you on the <laughs> stage, man. Thank you. All right. Cool. Thank you so much. We're here with Nora Grace. Nora, thank you so much for coming on the show today and talking with us. Thank you. You're a solo artist. You're new to the Youth Music Showcase. Yes. What are you hoping to learn from this experience today? Oh, I just want to learn a lot about actually performing. I mean, I do it a lot, but this is sort of a step up from the stuff I usually do. This is a lot larger, um, and so I just want to keep going forward with this kind of stuff. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. What, what are some of your aspirations here moving forward as a musician? Uh, I definitely also want to release um, stuff um, as well as performing. It takes a long time to get this stuff done and to get it out there. And, it, and especially if you want it to be perfect, it takes a long time. And so I just want to get stuff out there and start um, furthering this. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, because you don't want to push it out if it's yeah. not ready. You want to make sure you take the time, you perfect it, and you're like, all right, this is exactly how I want it. And that's smart. Yeah. I, I like it. So you play the keyboards and uh, and you also do vocals, correct? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what could people expect like sound-wise from you? Well, I think it's very sing-songwriter, singer-songwriter pop kind of thing. Okay. Um, it's got like some of the songs are less pop and more like indie, but this one I think is sort of just like the standard singer-songwriter pop. So it's just me and my keyboard. That's thing. awesome. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. It's a, I mean, it's all you on the stage. Yeah. All eyes are going to be on you when it's time mm -hmm. to perform, but I'm very excited to see what you bring us. I'm very excited to hear your sound. I can't wait. Thank you. Of course. Nora, thank you so much for taking the time and coming and talking with us. Thank you so much. Of course. And we are here with Maggie Marr. Maggie, Hello. welcome to the Youth Music Showcase. Thank you. You're very welcome. So, you are a new artist. You are not a returning artist. No. So, what are you learning? What are you looking to learn from this experience? Um, I just hope I make a lot of friends. I already have made some really great friends. Um, awesome. And, yeah, just learning from other artists. That's awesome. So, you have also open for some pretty prestigious people oh sure well. so, i mean you've you worked with noah gibney who's I also a, a youth music yes, showcase he's a king. person yeah yes. he's a king. <laughs> yes. exactly right uh but you've also opened up for jen kinder and nora klinger correct yeah yeah what was that experience like oh they're they're amazing yeah. nora is so talented she's only 12 and she has such a mature voice um and yeah i've just been loving opening for people and meeting new people with different sounds and i'm so grateful people invite me and actually you know tolerate me so <laughs> it feels nice when you're a musician and people are like hey we'd like to have you come perform oh, for sure Very gratifying yeah normally like i'm getting used to like putting myself out there i had really bad stage fright for most of my life so this is my first year that i'm really getting out there and performing so it's been so incredible for like the community to really support me in that way that's awesome I'll yeah. tell you from a previous uh, performer as well just getting out there and doing it over and over yes. that's how you get it, it it's yep. it, it, but it's tough man when you first start those stage <laughs> it's like pulling be, teeth it really yeah. is it really is you're <laughs> yeah. like oh that's a lot of people okay yes. I'm just gonna go put my heart and soul out there yep um crying in the bathroom what <laughs> crying in the bathroom. <laughs> sorry about that <laughs> eating a gallon of, of my emotions yes, yes exactly yep. um so what are you hoping to achieve uh, and aspire to as a musician moving forward? Oh, I would love to release my own music. Okay. I um, had a really incredible opportunity where I could fly out to LA and write some stuff. So hopefully that could be coming out this year. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Congratulations. Was, thank you, thank you. I'm really grateful for it. So. Well, I'm very excited to see what your sound is going to be like. Thank you. My eyes are going to be on you while you're up there on the stage. Great. I'm one of the judges, so. No pressure. Be, no pressure at all. Mm -mm. But uh, I'm very excited to see what you have thank and what you you're so going to bring us. So Maggie, thank you. thank you so much for taking the time and coming on to our show. Thank you. Everybody, thank Maggie Marr. Thank you for Mar. having me. And we are here with Alejandro Martinez. You are here with your band Night Shift. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yep. You yes. guys are new artists to the Central Pennsylvania uh, Youth Music Showcase, correct? Yep. Yes. What are you guys looking to uh, to learn from this experience? Um, how to play more as a band, um, and just meeting new people. You know, like we're excited to be here and meet 
um, all the other talent and see what they have in store as well. Yeah, absolutely, dude. Meeting people is huge in this industry for yeah. sure. Yes, it is. Yeah. So, what can we expect to hear from you, style wise? Um, well, for tonight, I think a lot of people have compared us to like Nirvana, which is kind of scary because they're a really good band. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But that's also kind of like a huge compliment. Yeah, it yeah. is a huge compliment. Yeah. Um, especially since like I recently, especially I've been listening to a lot of Nirvana. Okay. So, um, yeah, that's, <laughs> that, dude, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what are your guys' goals and aspirations moving forward as musicians? What, what, what are you guys looking to achieve? I just want us to get, you know, heard. I want us people to hear us. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what I, that's, that's what a I perfect, yeah. honest answer. I love that answer. Yeah. I just want to have fun. <laughs> <laughs> also yeah. a perfect, honest <laughs> answer. Dude, that's awesome. How long have you guys been together now? We're we're not just new to Central Pennsylvania. We're also new like in the scene. Like yeah, we just we started, we're like, a yep, month yeah. There so about like ago? two months, three months. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So you guys are like fresh. Yeah. And you're, like, yeah. We're jumping right into the <laughs> yeah. YouTube showcase. Yeah. We're doing this. We're doing this, dude. That's <laughs> awesome. Well, guys, I'm honestly very excited to see what you guys have. I mean, especially with the. Uh, the, the Nirvana reference. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm excited, man. I'm excited. Yeah, but a, yeah. guys, absolutely get up there, have yeah. fun, crush it. I can't wait to see it. Everybody, Alejandro Martinez and Night Shift. And we are here with returning artist Alex Lee Warner. Dude, yep. congratulations on coming back. I'm excited to hear what you're going to do for us today, but I'm just going to let you kind of take it from here because you have been up to some crazy things in the past year. So yeah. I'm going to let you run with it, man. All right. Uh, yes. Yeah, so. Uh, most recently, starting of this year, uh, I just did uh, the Memphis uh, IBCs Challenge, which is biggest international blues challenge in the world. That's awesome. Um, so we went there. We played with a couple guys, uh, my Nashville band that I have, and those guys. No big are, deal, guys. He only he just has his Nashville band. It's <laughs> no big deal, guys. And um, yeah, I mean that was good. Uh, and I, it. It's a drummer, pianist, mm -hmm. bassist, and singer. Okay. And they're all from the country. Like, one's from Ohio, one's from Arkansas, Houston, and Nashville. So we're all spread out across uh, the country. And, so, and you guys were able to come together, coordinate, and perform. And how did you guys do at the IBC? We did, we did incredible. Really? Uh, I, was, I was honestly impressed on how well we did. Um, so wh what's, what's good, what's bad on scoring there? Uh, so the scores are about like 60 to 70 average okay. i'd say uh we got like a 95 96 which is pretty cool dude I congratulations think. man yeah. that's awesome yeah so you are a returning artist yep what do you expect to learn from this second appearance at the youth music showcase paired with what you've already done in this past year uh, like i said like uh the guys before us meeting new people uh making more connections and just playing out and having fun Dude, that, that's the most important thing, man, is just having fun, yeah. making those connections. Dude, Alex, you are killing it right now. Man, I, I, I got to say, Thank I'm you. excited to see what the future holds for you. Yep. I really don't think there's a limit to what you can do, and I'm excited to see where you go. Yeah. And I'm excited to see what you play tonight. So, Alex, I just want to say thank you so much for coming on and talking to us. Absolutely. It's always a pleasure when I get to see you, and I'm looking forward to hearing you tonight. Yep. Thank you. You're very welcome. Honestly, it was a genuine pleasure getting to talk to all of these guys I, I, we haven't even gotten a chance to hear them perform yet nope and you can already tell how much some of these artists have learned from last year coming up till now yeah absolutely i mean you'll see in the questions you know we ask them how they plan to grow but just seeing how much they've grown you know the, the returning artists and i'm so excited for next year to see the new artists see how much they grow so absolutely this has been another central pennsylvania music podcast exclusive at the 2024 youth music showcase and we'll see you here again next year